You're listening to Vaquero News. Good morning, Vaqueros. It is 9 a.m. Monday, October 19th, 2020. Welcome to this week's newscast. I am Victor Ramirez, and we hope you had a restful weekend. Starting off the newscast, UTRGV announced that the fall 2020 in-person commencement ceremony will be offered virtually. UTRGV Interdisciplinary Studies senior Laura Leon will not cross a physical stage this December as a fall 2020 graduate, but instead she will participate in a virtual commencement ceremony. Leon expressed her disappointment regarding graduation. I was pretty sad and bummed because, you know, I was hoping that by December, you know, things would be better and that we would actually get the face-to-face or in-person commencement. In an email sent to the campus community from University Marketing Communications, UTRGV announced that the fall 2020 in-person commencement is postponed and will be offered virtually. Associate Vice President for University Marketing Communications Patrick Gonzalez says UTRGV decided to postpone the commencement ceremony due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Given the ongoing community transmission risk of uh, COVID-19 and that any in-person commencement would present real disease transmission risk to our students and anyone else who attended, the university decided to postpone in-person commencement again in the interest of uh, safety to our community. According to Gonzalez, UTRGV will have a traditional in-person commencement ceremonies for both spring and fall 2020 graduates, but it has not been decided when. Leon says she will return for an in-person commencement ceremony for when UTRGV decides to host one. I don't care if it's a semester later or a year later, I will go back and, you know, experience what I missed when I was supposed to graduate. According to the email, the fall 2020 virtual commencement will be December 12. For questions or information about graduation, visit utrgv.edu forward slash commencement. This is Victor Ramirez for Vaquero News. Reporter Rodolfo Alvarado tells us about a virtual discussion the UTRGV School of Medicine held last Wednesday with a, var- with a variety of guests and panelists. The UTRGV School of Medicine hosted a virtual discussion last Wednesday focusing on the impact that COVID-19 has had on different parts of the country, including Hidalgo County. A variety of guests and panelists attended this discussion, such as U.S. Representatives Adriano Espiat and Vicente Gonzalez, and Dean of UTRGV School of Medicine and Executive Vice President for Health Affairs, Dr. John Krause. Gonzalez starts the discussion off by listing the different statistics of COVID-19 in the Rio Grande Valley. According to Gonzalez, there was more than a 4,000% increase in hospitalizations from May to July. The Valley has made up 17% of all fatalities in Texas due to COVID-19, with 1,900 deaths in Hidalgo County alone. Doctors from different states also attended to speak about their experiences with COVID-19 in their respective hospitals, such as Chairman of the Board of Somos Community Care, Dr. Ramon Talaj, who explains how the situation developed in New York. This sanitary crisis brought a humanitarian crisis. People lose their job, they have no food, no job. We intervene. Chief Medical Officer at DHR Health in Edinburgh, Dr. Robert Martinez, reminds Rio Grande Valley residents on ways to stop the spread of COVID-19. It's a simple thing, right? Don't sneeze on somebody. Don't uh, shake hands with somebody after, you know, you're sick or you touch your mouth. These are simple things that we had gotten away from and we forget. The discussion closed off with Gonzalez by pointing out the importance of the discussion and learning from it to better prepare for a potential second wave of COVID-19 or any future pandemic. The discussion can be viewed on the UTRGV School of Medicine's Facebook page. This is Rodolfo Alvarado for Vaquero News. In case you missed it, reporter Justin Elizalde spoke with the Cameron County judge about bars being allowed to be open to 50% capacity. Bars and similar establishments were allowed to open to 50% capacity as of noon Friday until at least November 9th, according to a news release by Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. issuing the sixth amended emergency management order. The amendment is a result of Governor Greg Abbott's Executive Order GA32 issued on October 7th. The order allowed counties with low hospitalization rates to reopen bars to 50% capacity and businesses other than bars to 75% capacity as of this past Wednesday. The order also states that bars and businesses must enforce health protocols. 
In an interview with Vaquero Radio, Trevino said he was surprised at the details of the order, but wanted to get elected officials and health authority input prior to making a decision. And that's why when people were asking if I was going, if we were going to opt in or opt out, and my response was, I don't know. We're going to review it and make as informed decision as we possibly can, collaborating with all of the uh, all of the other elected officials for their input and obviously the health authorities. In a news conference on Friday, Trevino reminded businesses and citizens from Cameron County that the curfew of midnight is still in effect. Trevino responded to how the county would handle enforcement of the curfew. Law enforcement and uh, city inspectors will be able to enforce uh, the curfew with regards to any violation if they're, if they're open late or staying open late. Trevino expressed his concerns with reopening but added citizens adhered to Labor Day gathering restrictions and did not cause a surge, so he believes it can be repeated. People need to be very, very careful. We've asked them to modify their, their conduct and their daily behavior. They've been doing it. I know the great majority have, so uh, I'm counting on them to keep doing it. Vaquero Radio contacted Hidalgo County for a statement on reopening of bars, but was unsuccessful as of this broadcast. For Vaquero News, I'm Justin Lizalde. Justin Lizalde tells us about UREC hosting a virtual Zumbathon in observation of breast cancer awareness. The Zoom video conferencing platform has come to be a vital part of 2020. Classes, meetings, game nights, and even dances are using Zoom to connect people virtually. That's the idea of UTRGV University Recreation's Zumbathon, a modern solution to hosting their annual breast cancer awareness Zumba event and complying with COVID-19 social distancing regulation. Starting at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, participants will log in through Zoom for an hour of exercise with UREC instructors. UREC Fitness and Wellness Coordinator Faye Kennan says no one needs experience to join. You just come in and ready to have a good time. What we tell people is that just make sure that you have some space in your house or wherever you're at. Kennan says that there have been hours of planning of choreography and music choices for the event and encourages everyone to attend. Uh, we would really want uh, the entire public, uh, the entire UTRGB community to join us and, um, and check it out because it's going to be fun. Exercise scientist graduate Pamela Lynn says that breast cancer awareness is more than just month long and the event is an opportunity for people to learn more. We should take the time now since since it is a designated um, month and a, a designated event um, to be open to this information and to really um, appreciate that these opportunities are being given. Lynn adds that the information could be useful if someone you know may begin to have concerns. Um, and at least you'll have this preliminary information to provide to them. And essentially you could end up saving um, their lives or prolonging it with this information. Kennan says participants have the opportunity to win prizes and merchandise. According to UREX Veeling page, prizes can be picked up at either campus or be shipped to first come, first serve. For more information, visit UREX V-Link page. For Vaquero News, I'm Justin Elizalde. In McLean goes up and throws down a monster dunk. That fires up the UTRGD field house. And now time for Vaquero Sports. Sports reporter Luis Rubio tells us about a former UTRGV athletic staff member that was recently hired at another university. The Prairie View A&M University men's basketball program announced the new hiring of assistant coach Caleb Villarreal, a Mission native and former UTRGV athletic staff, last Thursday. Coach Villarreal will be joining the Panthers after spending the previous four seasons as a special assistant to the head coach for UTRGV men's basketball. UTRGV head coach Lou Hill explains how much Coach Villarreal has helped men's basketball in the last four years, not only within the program, but in the community as well. He did a little bit of everything besides coaching on the court because he's not allowed to. Everything else he did, you know, as far as the travel, uh, getting us out in the community, his family helped us embrace the culture of the valley, you know, just taught us. He did marketing, everything. Anything around here, he did it. Villarreal will be joining head coach Byron Smith's coaching staff at Prairie View A&M University, where the Panthers have won back-to-back -back Southwestern Athletic Conference regular season championships in 2019 and 2020, as well as going to the NCAA tournament in 2019. Coach Smith says he is excited to bring Coach Villarreal and see him bring new ideas to the program from his past coaching stints. I'm going to put pressure on Caleb to share as much information that he's been able to compile in five or six years that he's kind of been in his business. 
Some sadness was expressed by Coach Villarreal that he would be leaving the Rio Grande Valley where he is surrounded by family and has fostered many relationships with players, coaches, and members of the UTRGV administration. Coach Villarreal is excited for the next step in his coaching career and is ready to help the Panthers three-peat as SWAC regular season champions. Obviously, I wouldn't have left the Valley at home if I didn't think this was an opportunity for me to go further in my career. But I knew I knew it was a no-brainer, and that if there was no hesitation on my part from what I've heard from what I heard from Coach Smith and how he does things. And obviously, you know, you see it on the court. Coach Villarreal added that he ultimately wants to represent and make the people of the Valley and Mission proud. For Vaquero Radio, I'm Luis Rubio. And now for this week's weather report. Today, Bronzo should be expecting a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1 p.m., mostly sunny today with a high near of 90 degrees. Edinburgh will be sunny today with a high near of 92 degrees. Bronzo will be sh- will be having a 20 chan- 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday and rolling on into the weekend, it should be mostly sunny. Throughout the week, Edinburgh will be sunny rolling into the weekend, except on Wednesday, in which we should be expecting a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. That's it for you for your weekly weather report. We will see you all here next week. And now for this week's event calendar. Don't forget to vote, Vaqueros. Early voting is going on right now until October 30th. The UTRGV Edinburgh campus will have an early voting on Election Day site in the ballroom. While the Brownsville campus will not have an early voting site, there will be one in close proximity at the Texas Southmost College Jacob Brown Auditorium. To find an early voting or Election Day polling site, visit the Hidalgo or Cameron County Elections Department's website. Visit votetexas.gov to learn more about what to take to the voting poll site. The Civic Engagement Alliance will host Rope the Vote Rally starting at noon on Thursday. The event will dive into details for the upcoming election and look at the different presidential candidate platforms. Visit V-Link to learn more. And that's it for today's newscast. If you have any story ideas, send us an email to radio at utrgv.edu. Vaquero Radio is also mobile with the Radio FX app, available for Android and Apple. Also, follow us on our social media platforms and visit our website for updates and much more. We will see you next Monday at 9 a.m. here on Vaquero Radio. This has been Vaquero News.